Hi everyone, welcome to this session. My name is Rachel Zito. I'm a Relationship Manager at RMIT Training. I'm really happy to have this opportunity to talk to you about how international students can take their first steps to RMIT University. But let me start with an acknowledgement of country. RMIT University acknowledges the people of the Woi Wurrung and Boon Wurrung language groups of the Eastern Kulin Nation, on whose unceded lands we conduct the business of the university. RMIT University respectfully acknowledges their ancestors and elders past and present. RMIT also acknowledges the traditional custodians and their ancestors of the lands and waters across Australia where we conduct our business. Now, you're at a very important stage of your life. Deciding on your future education is a big decision. Today, I'll talk to you about RMIT training and the benefits of doing either academic English or foundation studies with us. Later, I'll tell you about RMIT pathways bursaries and go through important dates. You'll also hear from some of our students about their experiences. Now, at the end, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Now, at RMIT Training, we have two programs to give students the opportunity to achieve direct entry into RMIT University. We have RMIT English Worldwide Academic English or RMIT University Foundation Studies. We provide academic English and foundation studies on behalf of RMIT University. That means that everything we do is aligned with what RMIT University expects from students undertaking tertiary education. From day one, students become part of the RMIT University community. With their RMIT student number, and email address, they'll immediately get access to all the university's resources, facilities and student services. The content of the Academic English and Foundation Studies courses, the way we teach and the way students learn gives students the opportunity to build important study skills and gain knowledge they will use in their future studies at RMIT University. Our teachers and student support teams are experts in their field. They are highly experienced in meeting the specific needs of international students. It's a huge step from secondary school to further education. And it's our job to help students progressively learn useful academic study skills and gain knowledge to prepare them for their choice of future study in a supportive environment. Let's hear what some of our students say about their experiences. One of the teachers that really started out, I had the best teachers ever. Each of them has been, has been like really comprehensive and, and supportive. They understood, they completely understood that I think international students, we have some type of frustrations about our English, about our subjects, and the combination of our subjects and English, they has helped me way a lot and they has always been there asking me how I feel. RMIT did the best job to make me feel as part of a community, make me feel part of a family, which is something that I feel really grateful. Um, but as time went on in RMIT, I uh, got to know the teachers. To me, are uh, the best part of RMIT. They are so passionate about teaching. They really know a lot about the syllabus. If you have any questions at all about your assignment or your homework, don't be afraid to ask them because they'll be very, very willing to help you out. Um, I think I have to say it's the teachers and the staff because they're always really friendly. The teachers always provide us with a lot of practice to do before exams. And they're always there for students. Be with teachers. The teachers are amazing. They'll give you all the assistance you need. They teach so well in class so I can move on to university from here. It's good to see how happy our students are with their learning experience. We believe that a happy student is a successful student. 
we understand how challenging it can be to adapt to different ways of learning and living. Now, what we learn with a smile, we never forget. Our focus is on making that possible. With a dedicated team of RMIT training support staff at our campus, we want our students to feel confident, secure, and enjoy their learning experience with us. We promote fun, fitness, healthy lifestyles and relaxation. All of these things are important to the students' experience, giving them a better chance of succeeding, not just academically, but personally. Now, we support our students in many ways through this really important stage in their lives. We connect with them through social media, we have activities to help them get to know each other and build confidence in their new community. We have professional counsellors to help them with any personal concerns. And our study success team works with students either one-to-one -one or in small groups to help them with any academic issues. We also have student ambassadors who connect with students to share their experiences and provide support through our mentor program. So let's hear about the mentor program from our students. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm an ACH study buddy mentor. The reason why I like mentoring platform is because I want to have more opportunity to communicate with other international students. So as one of the youngest kids in class, I was always really reluctant to raise a question in front of everybody. Most of the students are very shy to ask some questions during their class. Through mentoring, conversations don't have to be that frightening. I would have loved to have someone mentor me through, throughout the year. You can ask them about time management tips, study tips, or even just have a hearty chat if you're feeling lonely. It will be a best place for you to support uh, each other and share your experience. Thank you so much for watching and good luck. Thank you. It's really great to hear from our students and um, now I'm going to talk to you about the RMIT training pathway program. So we'll start with academic English. If you complete the academic English program successfully, you'll be guaranteed direct entry into RMIT University without having to sit an English test. Now we have six courses at different levels and we'll give you a placement test to find out which level is best for you. Each level takes 10 weeks with 20 hours of study per week. Now, the amount of time it will take you to prepare for your next step in your education depends on your entry level. Critical thinking, independent learning and working in groups. These are the skills you will take with you to RMIT University further education programs in your future careers and life in general. Now, we have new courses starting every five weeks. There are no more than 15 students in each class and assessment is ongoing. So you can receive feedback to improve your skills gradually. Now we want you to succeed. So if you do your best and unfortunately don't pass a module, you can repeat the academic English module again for free. Now let me tell you about the Foundation Studies Program and the wide range of guaranteed pathways to RMIT University that you can take. Again, no need to do an English test if you successfully complete foundation studies. As I said earlier, our programs are specifically designed to suit RMIT University fields of study and the career aspirations of our students. We offer specialized streams for art, design and architecture science, engineering and health, business and a general stream. The program is for one year over two 18 week semesters. Students complete four courses each semester for about 24 hours of class time per week. Before we have a closer look at each specialist stream of foundation studies, I want to tell you about two core courses all foundation studies students do. English academic literacies and English critical thinking and analysis. 
These two courses are the key to your success. Studying English while you're doing the other specialist courses in the Foundation Studies programs develops your confidence and command of the language and will build the skills that you will use in all your education. So let's move on to the specialist streams now. Art Design and Architecture program offers both core and elective courses to prepare students for their future choice for their choice of future studies in those fields. Unlike other students who apply for Art Design and Architecture University programs, Foundation Studies students will not have to submit an art portfolio as part of the selection requirements because the university trusts that if you succeed in foundation studies, you would have achieved, achieved the necessary skills and knowledge in the fields you choose to study at RMIT in the future. Now, these are some of the popular pathways for our, our foundation studies, art design and architecture students have followed. The School of Design and Social Context and the School of Art are popular amongst our students. Now, for more information about Pathways and the RMIT Foundation Study GPA and English Result Requirement, follow this link. And this link applies to all Foundation Study streams. So if you go to that website, you'll be able to see all the different pathways for all the streams. Business Foundation Studies students complete a range of core courses and then they choose one elective. You can see that the Bachelor of Business is very popular amongst students and that there are many areas they can specialise in. There are also many other pathways they can follow. Again, you can find more details on the website. Science, Engineering and Health students can choose either an advanced or general maths program, depending on what they want to do in the future. They also choose four electives. Listed here are popular fields of study science, engineering and health students can progress to. Degrees in engineering, infotech and applied sciences are the most popular. Some students have chosen to enter their degree programs after foundation studies via an advanced diploma or associate degree. This is an option for all fields of studies. The general stream is for students who are interested in media, communication or working with people. Other than the two English courses, they also do two communication core courses and then choose four electives. Now you can see here that there's a broad range of degree programs students can choose from to suit whatever career they're interested in in the future. So let's now hear from Sama. Sama is an RMIT Foundation Studies student from Indonesia talking about her experience. Hi, my name is Putu Sarma Dati Pariswari, but people usually call me Sarma. I'm from Bali, Indonesia. I was taking the Foundation Studies program at RMIT training as the first start of my learning journey. What amazing about RMIT training were the fantastic teachers and the engaging program. The teachers were very patient and helpful in guiding us international students to accomplish the maximum performance. Uh, the program itself, because I learned Uh, provides a wide range of activities to enhance our skills and understandings of the subject. RMIT training provides a really good uh, support to ensure that their students uh, could accomplish their targets. In foundation studies, you are given lots of options and time to consider what you really want for before continuing to higher education. And overall, I really enjoy my experience studying at RMIT. That was a great experience from Sama. So let's talk about what happened last year. The worldwide pandemic forced all of us to face different ways of living. All students globally and their teachers had to quickly adapt to online learning. It was difficult for everyone at first. 
but we are very proud of our students' ability and their perseverance to successfully achieve great results under very, very unusual circumstances. At RMIT University, we have supported our students so they do not have to delay their studies. You can start now, be safe at home and become university ready sooner. Listen to our academic English students talk about the benefits of starting online. Hi, it's Jen and we're talking to some students who are now doing their level seven studies at REW. These students started in level six and they started online. They wanted to come to Australia, but COVID meant that they stayed in their own countries. Now, I want to just ask you guys, what's been useful for you about studying online with REW? Um, <laughs> actually, I think um, it's very useful for me to prepare something well before I go to um, MIT. I can know how to um, talk to others by English, actually, um, and also um, write critical response I see, um, reference I see, or research report, or some other English skills. I think it's important for us to um, to learn. Yeah, I think it's useful. Do you think that's true? Yes. And uh, uh, I also want to say that just uh, starting on like me, maybe just let me feel that not so nervous that face to face talking with foreigner students and the foreigner teachers. And just like Yuki said, it's um, just like a preparation for our foreigner study. So speaking online is giving you good practice before you arrive yes. in Australia. Has Anjo, you don't always feel confident about your speaking, but has online been good for you? Yeah, I think maybe studying online, I, have, I can have more time to prepare when I'm speaking. And uh, maybe if I prepare more, I will more feel more confident. I think there's been a big shift in that. I think being able to see each other online, you already have friends when you come to Melbourne, you already have people you know, which will be a really nice thing. Zhangfei, what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, I'm very lucky because I think uh, in the REW, I, I can learn some um, different model than I, I studied in China. I think REW can help me uh, learn some useful skills to help me have a good adaption. I think you're right. It's the adapting when you come. There are many things to do. Now, one Lin, you're younger. It would be hard to have come to Australia all by yourself as mm -hmm. a young student and do everything. It would have been really scary and hard. So I think you know, being online has given you a chance to keep your study going. Yes. But with your family support. Yeah. yeah. Uh, studying online, yeah, it is convenient and I don't not to nervous. And another benefit is I can ask teacher every time and just wait for the reply. It is, yeah, I got many useful advice, yeah. I think it's been a really good experience. Look, it's not what we thought you would have, but it's produced its different advantages by itself. So one, you have had less pressure to set everything up at the same time. So you can study with home support and family. And then when you come to Australia, you already understand a bit more about RMIT, a bit more about Australian culture and society. And for you as Chinese students, you've had a lot more opportunity to practice speaking before you actually come. And most of the Chinese students I speak to say that that's the one thing that they are most nervous about when they come is the speaking. So this way you're getting a lot of, you're getting 10 weeks at least in each level of extra speaking practice so that you are muscled up, ready to speak when you arrive. Not, oh, what do I do now? Now we provide students worldwide the opportunity to start academic English or foundation studies online. 
so they don't have to delay their education any longer. Now, our approach to teaching in a live online classroom is the same, and students can achieve the same results. Our online classroom tools and huge variety of learning activities allow students to engage directly with their teacher, as you saw in the video, and other students. As our students have told you, we provide students a lot of support to make this easier for them. Our study support and student experience activities have continued to be very effective in the digital world. Students can access all the services they would usually get on our campus online. Now, here's some foundation study students talking about how they adapted to online learning and achieved the results they expected. Many of them have already progressed to higher education at RMIT University. Online learning is a completely new setting, similar to, you know, when you're going to move out of your house and, you know, live in a dorm somewhere or an apartment. It's a new setting. So either way, you're going to experience something new. And I think online learning is actually really beneficial in a way that I was able to make I think I'd be able to make more friends online than if I were to meet in person. For me personally, um, you know, I can just follow them on Instagram and I can just meet them every time we have class and then we could have like chats um, during class, you know, like when we're confused with something and help each other online. So I think it's really, really useful. You know, in terms of online learning, you know, people are always thinking, you know, should I wait? You know, should I, should I wait till the pandemic is over? I think uh, you should do what you can with the time that you've got now, because we never know um, when things will start to change and everything. And online learning, especially in RMIT, for me personally, um, is really great. And I learned so much, I think more than I could ever um, in this situation. So I think online learning is a really great opportunity. Yes, it really is, because if I were to delay my studies, well, I'm doing business and um, if I don't graduate, um, quickly, I mean, on time, then it, it would waste at least one year or two, depending on how long the pandemic is. But because I took the chance, um, it's a bit of a risk because at first I was scared that what if online learning is not good enough and what if I don't understand. But instead, um, RMIT, the teachers here, they gave us resources, not just from the book, but they also gave us websites and other tips and other shortcuts to understand our lessons. And um, it has been, you know, it's worth it. I'm happy that I've improved a lot. And I think that online learning um, is a really useful way to not delay your studies because like um, Keisha has said, you might not know when things will go well. So yeah, I think that online learning with RMIT, it has been really worth it and helped me a lot. Whether online or whether you're in face to face, you will be able to you will be able to learn the same material. You should uh, all try to enroll at this time, even if it's online, because you know it's still a very memorable and a ver very worthwhile experience, and it's really worth it. I felt like online learning is is something you guys should take a chance on, as you know, six of us have took the chance. Okay. Some great um, comments from our students there. So let's move on to another reason why it's a good idea to start your studies now. All students commencing the Academic English program in 2021 will receive a 20% fee reduction. And if you enroll in further education at RMIT University after Academic English, from February 2022 to July 2023, you'll receive $2,500 from uh, the Pathway to Victoria Scholarship to reduce the fees of the package program. So that's another good reason to start now. Now, for foundation studies, if you start the Science, Engineering and Health or Business Foundation Studies programs in September 2021, which is very soon, you'll receive a 20% fee reduction for the whole program. Now, when you've completed foundation studies and enroll in higher education at RMIT University, 
by July 2022, you can receive another $5,000 fee reduction. And on top of that, you can take, adv take advantage of the Pathway to Victoria Scholarship when you enrol for your further studies with another $2,000, $2,500 fee reduction. So there's some good reasons to um, think about enrolling this year. Now let's go through some important dates. You can commence Academic English on October the 4th or November the 8th this year to take advantage of the generous fee reductions. If you're interested in business or science engineering and health foundation studies, you can start on September the 8th this year or commence on January the 31st, 2022 for other streams. So don't delay your education, start now. You can follow this link to start your application. You can either apply directly or apply with an agent. Now, I would be very happy to answer any of your questions. Feel free to email me directly or follow these web links that will take you to further information about everything I've spoken to today. So thank you and good luck with your future studies. I end